The coring process is an important part of silicone eye making because it creates the interior void, thus creating room for the optical silicone. To prevent hydrogen gas bubbles, we seal the surface of the stone by brushing on two coats of model hardener. Using a clay extruder, create a sixteenth of an inch thickness for the interior void and place the clay onto the interior side of the mold. Note that sulfur-free clay should be used to prevent inhibition in the silicone. Gently push clay into the mold and graduate the edge by pulling excessive clay away from the center. A smooth graduation is important for two reasons, to provide room for the posterior side and to minimize the seam created when casting. Next, puncture the clay to allow room for the iris button. The iris button is introduced to create the iris size and register the orientation of the pupil. It also maintains the iris diameter, ensuring a perfect circle during the painting process. Finally, brush on one additional coat of model hardener and release both sides of mold using dish soap. Pour 5 grams of scleral silicone base into a dram cup and add 10% of a half a gram of scleral silicone catalyst and mix. Place dram cup into evacuation chamber and evacuate bubbles for 3 to 4 minutes. Release air from the chamber and pour scleral silicone into anterior side of mold. Apply scleral silicone to posterior mold and place onto anterior side. Clamp the mold and wait for two minutes, allowing air bubbles to clear. Finally, place the clamp mold into a preheated 200 degree oven for 35 minutes. After 35 minutes, open the mold and remove the clay and iris button to expose the scleral blank. Now you have your blank canvas in which to paint. Next, use an aggressive silicone bit. Make sure to grind the seam in an up and down motion rather than in a side to side. To prepare for painting, it is advantageous to prime the area around the iris button using a fine silicone bit. Finally, you may choose to create a recessed pupil by using a biopsy punch.